Jackson, 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 checking in with a grin. Look, man, I'm tired, folks. I'm tired. Look, I passed through y'all city the other day. I passed through the city doing the game. I wanted to stop, but I was tired, man. I had to get to Atlanta. I got to meet with a YouTube guy today. Hopefully, it's going to help my YouTube channel grow, and I can blossom, and I can do some of the great things I want to do. I want to tailgate. I got a big truck, a big trailer. I want to pull up on y'all and have some big time uh, tailgates before the game. We can go live and get all y'all on the, on the uh, live and do a lot of stuff. That's what I want to do. So I want to start yesterday, but I had to keep pushing because it's a bigger picture. But I did watch the game. I did watch the game on uh on on a live stream. And uh now I wanna give my man a shout out, man. He he live stream all the time, HBCU sports. Something his channel has got to do something with sports, man. Dang, I'm sorry. If I if I go find the channel, I'll put it in the description. Um But uh he do it real good. He done kept me in the game. I had that ESPN U and they they got me. They charged me. I thought I canceled it and they charged me for like Six, seven months. I had to cancel it twice. Uh, so my man put me in the game. Next time I watch a game, I'm going to donate. I'm going to donate because he, uh, he done saved me $9 a month. But uh, all right, y'all. So let's get to it. I watched the game yesterday, and I was impressed with the D-line. Jackson State D-line and Texas State D-line. Both of them were bringing it. Like, if the XFL or whatever it's called now, the new thing, if they don't try to get some of these boys, if the NFL ain't looking at some of these boys, these dudes and the, and the Jackson State offense line look good. So, it, like, Texas State offense line, they look good, too. So, it ain't like it's like a, a baby line and the defense line just running over them. No, they, both of them got some big boys out there that can move, like, especially Jackson State. I look at some of the uh, D-linemen, they, they feet, they got some feet on them. They can move. And, uh, now, Texas State had some big boys, like some big 300-pounders that could move. So, that was it, that was a good game. I, I always like looking at defense. Defense. I'm surprised. Well, I guess because Andrew Body's out, Texas State can't put it together because they got the court down. They got the wide receivers. They got the running backs. They got the line. They just, and their quarterback looks solid, though. So, I don't understand. But I guess you just need that guy, you know. But let's get to uh, Jackson State. So, what I saw with Jackson, let me say this. The quarterback, Morgan, I don't get my camera. Oh, y'all seen that Colorado? I ain't, I ain't want y'all to see that Colorado. I ain't want y'all to see that Colorado. Uh, it's about a, oh, Lord, let me get it up. Let me get it up. Let me get it up. Hi, 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 hi. We back, we back. I don't want to be disrespectful now. I don't want to, I'm trying to wipe my feet. Y'all hit the like button. Hit the like button. Um, Y'all probably watched Colorado too last night. So look, I watched both games. So you got don't come for me. But look, so Morgan, he did well yesterday. Well, what I like about what he did yesterday, he showed me he can manage the game. As a quarterback, you don't gotta always go out there and, and win the game. You have to be a manager of the game, a manager of the football. When you can manage the football, you don't turn the ball over. He didn't he didn't throw an interception. He didn't um foam the ball. That's what you that's what you need from your quarterback. If your quarterback can keep the ball and not turn it over, that gives your team a better chance to win. What I didn't like about it, he had 25 receptions for less than 200 yards. He's like 182, 185 yards, something like that. So I'm like, what? That that's a bad average. So that means you're not throwing the ball down the field. When you're not throwing the ball down the field, you don't have to worry about throwing as many interceptions. So I can kind of understand that. But and he had one touchdown to get taken back. If if that play would have went, that would have that would put him over uh, 200 yards. But we didn't get that play by, by McGee. And I like the fact that it gave McGee more involved. Now, another thing that hurt us is we got some running backs going down. JT Martin came in doing his thing. I like, I JT Martin's that feel-good story. Like, dang, this dude on battle. He could battle test. He keep coming back. He just keep getting better. And it's told, man. But that's how sports are. I want y'all to understand that. Sports, a lot of times, you can do everything you're supposed to do, and your body just won't hold up for you. Your body will let you down. I mean, a lot of players um, succumb to their body letting them down. So that's just part of it, man. I hate it. I hate it for this guy because I know he put in work. I've seen him improve. 
I remember first seeing him, I was like, what? Who is this guy? And now he just keep battling, keep battling. Like now, when I see him, I, I got respect for JT Moore when he step in the game. So I just hate that toe, man. That toe, Coach Prime got hit that that toe. Shaq got hit with that toe. So that toe can humble the most greatest athletes of all time, you know. Ah, oh, man, I hate it for him. But uh, our defense, when I said R, I'm talking about the Jacks. <laughs> oh, Jackson uh, uh, leading the, the nation in picks. I know they're leading the swag, but I think they're leading the whole nation. In, uh, in, in in interceptions, great job showing up big time. Even with some players going down, they still showing up. Um, I want to see the linebacker play is decent. I want to see better linebacker play. D line and secondary is balling out of control. The linebackers are not bad, but I'm not seeing jump off the page like NFL talent. I'm not seeing it. Uh, but they're solid. I'm just, I just want to see them make more plays so some of these guys can get a chance to probably pursue a career after after college. I like the fact that they're getting the ball to uh, the tight ends more. And I'm noticing we have some key receivers, I think, that's hurt too because there's some guy's name I, I didn't see called. And um, I'm, I'm kind of wondering why, but I'm guessing they hurt. But I, I like what Jackson's doing right now. Coach Taylor has really put a stamp on that team. I think he got them going in the right direction. And what's so good about them not playing in the Celebration Bowl and in a conference championship game, y'all might say, what? What's good about that is, is he get to recruit. He get to jump on this recruiting earlier. So, and he get to say, look, we got to win a record. We, we did our thing with you. We can win more. And that's, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to have to do a whole whole thing about TC. Oh, uh, Coach Taylor. Because uh, TC, he 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 got a nice plan going, though. I see what he's doing. I see what he, he got a, he got some motion. He got some motion going where he can be a dominant coach in the swag. And I don't think he want to go nowhere. I think he want to stay in the swag. And what I think the swag need to do for you, Y'all get ready. Jackson, get your bag ready. Get your bag ready and, and, and pay Coach Taylor and pay his staff. Because if y'all pay y'all staff, y'all get y'all recruiting coordinator in there right. I see what Coach Taylor doing. And I'm going to do a video all about Coach Taylor for y'all can understand why he why y'all got a great coach. Y'all y'all on the verge of having a great coach. Let me say that. Y'all on the verge of having a great coach in Jackson. And if the people get behind him, and y'all get y'all facilities up to par, it's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy in Jackson. I think they can trickle over to the basketball, baseball, everything. Y'all got something. Y'all got something special going. Um, and it, and what, what, what the the previous, the, the two coaches that's been there in the last two years, they giving y'all something that y'all can build on. And uh, I, I like what I see. I'm, I'm loving it right now. Fam, fam still got y'all in Choco. Fam still got their foot on y'all neck. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna miss over that. Like we ain't gonna just sidestep that. But with the quarterback y'all got right now, with the coach y'all got right now, y'all in position. Y'all in position to, to, to load that gun, to pull back that that fist, that hammer, and take a good shot. I'm telling you. But uh, so I like what Jackson did yesterday. I don't like the fact that y'all won at home. And it came out to the last few seconds of the game. It made it interesting, but without with, without Andrew Body, if so, that means if y'all if they would have had Andrew Body, maybe y'all don't win that game. And I feel like Andrew Body and and Morgan are the same kind of quarterback. So we know Jackson got the talent. Just Texas, Texas Southern have that much talent. Like that. So that's that's the only thing that kind of puzzled me yesterday. Like why at home? I know Coach Taylor say. He wants y'all to play, uh, bring that same kind of uh, play style and how y'all play on the road at home. But uh, I don't understand. I guess y'all played four games on the road at the start out. They got used to be on the road. The runaway child, they they, they forgot where their home was at. So that losing home, coming at home, y'all almost lost yesterday at home to a team that's that's 
under 500. That was kind of, that's the only lows I looked at. I said, damn, that was kind of, but maybe Texas Southern kind of gave y'all their best, they best shot. They wanted to show everybody they can beat y'all, but it's, still, it, uh, y'all, y'all played good yesterday though. Y'all played good. I can't, I can't say nothing about how y'all played that was bad. Y'all played good. I just want, I just wanted to, at home, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go down to the wire at home. You know, I want to win by, by, by 14 points at home, especially when they got the backup quarterback in. What y'all think, man? Y'all leave y'all thoughts. Subscribe and talk y'all trash in the comments. Jackson, y'all good to talk trash. Y'all real good at that. All right, man. Go.